I don't know what's going on. I don't know where their heads are at. But what I do know is this is bound to be a banger. Yeah, man. That was wild, dude. Fnatic looked like Homer Shrimpson, you know, like just choking out FaZe. No. Or, oh. or, you know, Bart, I guess, in, yeah. if we're going down that metaphor. Alex setting them up with a flashy, but Jaquinho's getting flashy ahead of time. He takes out Twist, Ooh. who's deep, and he even tags oh, okay. and finishes off Brokey. That's actually Crims to help out. Rain, good for the first, but traded. It's all on Carrigan oh. and shot through the box. Jaquinho gives us one hell of a pistol round. I feel like he only saw like two of the people yep. he ends up killing. Pretty and yet much. he does, you know, 380 damage, give or take. Yeah, sick round out of Jaquinho. And, you know, I, I feel like it was easy to dog on him for that first game. Definitely nerves coming into play and uh, inside of the Na'Vi matchups, right? We all we all see what I'm talking about. But, uh, you know, he's finding his footing back on this main orb role, Harry. you got to remember, it was his role coming into Fnatic. Obviously, JW is still on the team. He was rifling at that point, taking second orbs, etc. sometimes spawns. And, you know, it's going to take time for this guy to, to get back into the form that we know he can have. And, well, right. Now that series was that first map was a great start from him, and this pistol is no exception. Phase, they do take it light and breezy. They don't overplay their hand, bomb down, but they just get pistols and more flashes to get out into this A site. Oh, but shot in the back of the head, and that's the bomb as well. So now these rotations, if they weren't already believing, are going to start to peel on over. Should be a pretty cut and dry Should. situation yeah. here, and it is. It's cut. It's dry. It's like uh, bad meat. Yeah, I was going to say something along that line, but I don't eat meat, yeah. so I don't know what the bad meat is. What's the biggest meat you've ever... Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. Uh, um, I've, I've had steak, I yeah, guess, is, yeah, is where I yeah. take that innocently. Um, don't know what you were implying there, but... Well, right now, you know, FaZe are trying to not get T-boned themselves, yeah, Hugo. That's true, that's true. Oh, I've got to check those rear views sometimes, Harry. You never know who's behind you. Well, Fnatic are up in front. Smooth sailing. Jaquinho, he's feeling it right now. Scope in his hand and a plan to take down Brokey. The Orpers clash with no orbs involved. And Jaquino comes out on top. Now just phase left in middle with little utility. Creepy crawly for Olaf. Brolin's going to deal with him. So both uh, fights for phase come up with a lot of damage, but no kill. Fnatic sit pretty, but they also sit scared. Even a single bullet to these two players could change the outcome of the round. Chikino swapped guns. Needs to get his util out. Maybe flash Brolin. Won't need it. He's already dead. Bomb spotted. And Alex activated. Trying to trap them. They come back to him. And we know what this guy's like with the mow downs on this gun. They actually reroute Palace instead. Oh, he saw them. He saw the bomb. Oh. No question about it. Yeah. And now, you know, phase debated. Uh, Mirage overrated. Alex activated. Coming in on this flank. Oh, but oh, Carrigan ready. gets the better of him. And look at a flipped script like this, Hugo. This was meant to be the Fnatic read. This was meant to be them walking away with a 3 0. But suddenly it's all on Mezzi. Ooh. There's oh. one. But <laughs> dead shortly thereafter. Little line up there. Got, got nervous for a moment. Maybe with a real gun. Was he just tapping or was he burst in that? I well, couldn't even tell. Player. Yeah. It was yeah. like... It was a bit of a combo post. It wasn't burst fire, surely. I, I heard a single bullet go out. All right. Nice try. No one's going to do it. Although it's... Yeah, it's not 1.6, but it's still... It's not the worst. It's not the worst. I, I burst. tried dedicating a solid, like, two, two weeks, weeks yeah, to, yeah. to learn in burst You had some great burst shots, I will admit. It, you but... can get okay with it, but, yeah. like, it's just never better than not no. bursting, yeah, so... No, why... If, if you want to burst, just fire three bullets, lol. Yeah. And then stop. And then do it again. Yeah, but it's... Ooh, they're going through. They're coming through. Rain with a double, though. He will deny the USP space in the ramp. More B pushing, and this is going to continue to get held, uh, especially after Alex gets found out on the flank last round. Olaf delivered a freebie, and is he ready for another man who's gone out under? Is that something FaZe are cognizant of? They're not going to see it. Brokey will, Carrigan not. Alex doesn't want to move anyway. He knows that Fnatic are, at this point in the round, FaZe just have to wait. They have to sit back, and if anything comes to them, they'll take it. If not, they'll group and hit a bomb site. so... Trying to toe the line in between info and death. 
And Alex has towed it pretty well. Oh, hello, Twist has seen a barrel. It goes both ways, and Alex will get one of those, but now they're just going to run on by Brolin alone up in this A bomb site in towards an empty B. We should try and save the bees. But that's an unrelated matter for another day. Right now they're saving Deegs. Deegs nuts. Am I right? <laughs> well, it's not nuts in this round. They just get denied on all fronts, Harry. But it was just pistols, Hugo. Yeah. Now, now they get to bring the big guns into play. I'm talking, you know, AWP. I'm talking AUG. AUG, that's the org. I didn't know what you were spelling at first. Ow. They got double up as well. Messi's joining Jaquino on this one, so that's exciting. Oh, Jaquino's stuck out lower. He got blocked on something, and Range is going to take it down for free before the top mid smoke plumes. That could have even saved Jaquino. Charging it down. Alex with a one way. Oh, oh, no better man for the job. Lines up almost two. Doesn't take the second, though. He had a chance. Rather just keep it in a 4v4, send FaZe back. Alex, every round he's spotting that bomb and he's uprooting the plan of FaZe. They they now have to play the mind game. Do we recommit B with Fnatic knowing? And do we do it late or do we just rotate round as Fnatic would expect? Alex is looking for even more, but he doesn't know about rain. Uh. <laughs> oh no! Oh, okay. He's oh, it's with you. very, very weird there. Everyone is, su is surprised by Brolin. And all across the board, there's just little surprises hidden in this one. Yeah, backstab city right now. I don't want to bring it back to eggs, Harry, but there's like the chocolate ones. The old kinders. Full of surprises, they are. Oh, like the kinder eggs. Yeah. Right, like the the surprise eggs. Is that what they call? They are called, I, that, aren't they? No, yeah. no, and I know that was a big YouTube trend for the longest time. Like, wow, it's a little bit of plastic. We've filled this egg with surprises. Watch till the end, because there's surprises throughout. Yeah, like twelve threes going the other way. Don't turn off at half time. You'll come to regret it. Always come back for the comeback. And now FaZe starting strong, as we know, means nothing in this series, but it's at least a, a, a sigh of relief, right? After a pretty harrowing way to go down on overpass, and it was the T side they did it on as well. Starting strong on their map pick, far more comfortable here, and Messi saving that second orb that never really got to get involved in this one. Yeah, so that's the third on the board for FaZe. They're, they're stumbling back to their feet, you know? I if, if that first map has taught me anything, it's that I'm never prepared to say like, oh, they're looking a lot better because, you know, there's always a second half to be played. But hell, man, this is something to grasp onto. Also, yeah, the reason why I looked a bit confused there, Hugo, when you say Kinder Egg, obviously we're in Germany. I never thought about how odd that name is. Yeah. At first I thought you were saying Child Egg. I was like, no, I don't know what no, that children means. Children don't lay eggs, Harry. I mean, humans in general don't lay eggs. Not since, you know, the incident. Not since the incident. We don't talk about it. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, you know, I don't we need to go into the biology of eggs and humans and, you know, no, what came right. first, the human or the egg? <laughs> Messi. He's done something. <laughs> Trying to tie it in there. Yeah. Failing, of course. Nice flash Ooh, to allow the push, no. but twists. He can fight while blind, you can scratch out his eyes, he'll still give you a run for your money. Oh. What just happened? Not sure, but regardless of what it is, it's fine for FaZe. They're still aware of the palace position. Flash in. Chino stares into that one. Don't look into the lunar eclipse. Does it twice. All the util you need. You have a Molotov or smoke to stop him, so just bombard, bombard him with flashes. Not where I wanted to go with it. <laughs> All right, but Brian Cox. Yeah. There are millions there are more of flashes. flashes. And there are grains of sand on every beach in the world. Alex, oh. he's got to clear the corner. He oh. does. Alex is on one. No kit. 2v2 with the retakes going through. <laughs> oh. 
Or is it? Alex here, mate, running out of time, and he knows that he's just going to get the AWP and get out of there. I knew you were a man of many talents, Hugo, but I didn't know you could work the cocks like that, man. <laughs> That's impressive. Oh, That's Brian Cox, Professor yeah, Bri Brian C -O Cox. Yeah, clarify that. Professor, yeah, throw some respect on that name, Harry. Another buy round now. That was, remember, only a saved AWP. And Fnatic make it pretty damn close. They make it pretty nice. And now they've got the double orb yet again. Saved on was one, and Jaquino joins him. More orgs. A little boost on the ramp, but the Molotov gets in the way, and Brokey misses that cross shot to Crims, who will be in the connector. They know. And he goes in, does nothing. Yeah, but he's still getting info, right? He's like a forward scout right now, is Crims. And he's letting me know that mid looks Whoa. pretty good. Twists will connect something with that spam, and I can't blame Brolin for not wanting to hang around. Free smoke down in top cop. That opens up a pathway for like a, a mid to be. Alternatively, Carrigan could try to use this in a way that, you know, a lot of teams do where you edge your way through the smoke up onto the stairs. Lot of util going into B, but the bomb has just been dropped back in the apartments. They're seeing what Carrigan can get away with on this timing right oh. now, applying pressure to B, hoping to draw attention away and give Carrigan something to exploit. Mezzi alone at the B bomb site. They're going oh, back no. on the side oh, of phase no. into the double stack at A. Carrigan blinds himself. <laughs> oh, no, this yeah. is very, very quick. And now Brolin hears the footsteps. Well, this is FaZe maybe oh. outbraining themselves a little bit here. Yeah, that's crazy, right? Like, obviously, the flash was meant to go over the wall for CT. He kind of didn't want that to happen. But the fact that Fnatic don't even rotate, and uh, that's because they're holding on on B. Messi getting the kill, and Brokey now just trying his hand at the clutch. He can't. AWP for Jaquino wins that one, and it's Fnatic finding a third. Yeah, un unfortunate, right? Carrigan not wanting to go through murder hole and try and wrap market after his team have already fell. And a good B-hole there for Fnatic that keeps them standing strong on A. Yeah. <laughs> the self flash. Far from yeah. perfect. Oh man, that's very sad, but yep. you know, it happens. Oh, spawn taken. But nothing there. Not yet. Twist is creeping in. Jacino won't go any further, so as long as Twist doesn't peek into stale off, uh, a stalemate with no result. Stale off just sounds like, you know, leaving bread out in the open. Stale off! Who goes stale first? Is it the... the Wheaty? I don't know. Who will hold and who will mold? That's mold with an O. Yeah. Oh, that's good, man. There's a lot of bread-based puns, yeah. isn't there? I will cut the ch bit of chatter, and uh, now, that was meant to be like Chibata. Oh, oh. Jaquino with the AWP. Both the AWPs finding success, what? and it just keeps on coming. Another over in the uh, over in the palace, and this round is looking as good as done for FaZe. Yeah, now they're looking for B kills, and there's no one even there. Oh my goodness, walking into more scopes. Brokey's made noise. Brolin gives it up, goes over, and Brokey's going to meet him right in spawn. Smooth moves for Brokey. He kind of hopped through the window room, but it didn't matter. Four rounds for Fnatic. That triple opening kill of the two AWPs is everything. That essentially decides the round. And they lose the bomb in Palace as well. I said Jaquino won't go further. He did. He pushed in through Palace with the orb. If he dies there, that just looks stupid, really. But beautiful play from him. Like this. Like, what is that? That's crazy. That shouldn't work. And then he even follows up dropping the bomb. Great round out of Jaquino, feeling a lot more fluid than that first day. And into Deagle's now phase dismay. Yeah, this is another one of these, uh, you know, 
I'm kind of hesitant to even ever call it a lead. Like, they did have it, but it's it's so early days that it wasn't established. This is like a far earlier activation of Fnatic. That was the case back in their Na'Vi series as well. Right? Kind of took them a while to warm into it back on overpass there. And then come the second map, they were already off to the races a lot sooner. We're getting that again. Oh, Jaquino pretends to shoot the guy in calm. <laughs> We've all been there. But it shouldn't matter, right? Oh, oh Twist Steagle. That is a dangerous thing indeed. Messi doesn't want to peek and give the B-bomb sight away. I love how safe he's playing this. So many players would just go, oh man, it's only a deagle. I'll just swing him. It's the one guy. But but not Messi. He actually waits for Crims to rotate over so that he has a trade, so that if he dies, the B-sight isn't given over with yeah. an AWP for a clutch. It's just very, very safe. Very, very heads up. Like, yeah. not taking any unnecessary risks. And I love that. Yeah, like, you know, one of the most inexperienced players at this level. I guess, like, it, it almost feels insulting to say that, but when you're comparing yourself to someone like Crims or Alex, like, it's just a, a, a factual statement. But, yeah, we see why Alex gives him so much praise and so many players have who have played alongside this guy, right? He's just a solid pair of hands. And an IGL's dream is the quote. Well, we see why. Roland got to deal with a big old A take. They're running it down. No more util left apart from on twist. The flashes have all gone through. The smoke's too. Bit of a boost to stop the bomb plant. Crim sending Roland up. And he sees a leg inside of the smoke, taking down Rain, waiting on top of the stairs. Oh dear, now it gets very hard. You need this plant in. And Crim's just spammed out another player. That's that experience. Knowing the angles, knowing the dangles, Brokey's going to drop Roland. Crims is backed up. Alex is keeping pressure on CT with no smokes. The plant's not easy. Alex is even going to get involved and try and stop it, killing the cover and going right through the triple. It is read by Carrigan. Good awareness, but now he's trapped off. They're both spamming each other through this smoke. Carrigan takes the kill, doesn't drop off though, and maybe that could have been his chance. Now it's Mezzi's. Yeah, Brokey left to beat. Had a pretty quiet game so far and not going to be able to get this clutch over the line. Mezzi wrecks him. Oh, we've, okay. Go back around, do it again. One yeah. more for good measure. Yeah. Screw it, don't even defuse. Show how cocky you really are. <laughs> Give phase 12 rounds and come back in the <laughs> second half. <laughs> <laughs> like, that, that, like, you know, you just say what you will about Alex. He gives us very, very exciting games at the very least, right? It's like, boys, I think at about round 13 is where we're really yeah. going to start trying. So till then, <laughs> just have fun. Just see what you can do. Yeah. Good clutch out of Mezzi. Yeah, would love to see Carrigan just drop off there right into Sandwich. I, he's trying to get the info for his teammate. He's trying to, you know, fight CT, set, him, set his Mate. friend up for the trade. But, you know, 10 health, if he gets repeat, there's no way he's living. It's heartbreaking as well because, like, Brokey's so often synonymous with having, like, you know, being yeah, a very, very good that, yeah. clutch player, right? And I think oftentimes those are the kind of rounds he wins fairly easily. But I think this is a real sign of the time, right? There was full confidence on the swing from Messi. He blows him out the water. He's keeping this double AWP in play as well, which has been a treat to watch. Plus, I said we had to look at Giacchino a lot. He's been really good, like, yeah. just yeah. Solid, solid, you know? Yeah. I'm not going to say, like, yeah, oh, he's the next best thing out there, but he's nailed every shot he had to. He's not a liability. He's getting these openers. He's given a lot of space to uh, to the Fnatic squad. Yeah, very important. It's night and day compared to that opening matchup, and it's given me a lot more faith in this Fnatic team. Yeah. No, I agree with everything you said. Alex moving in. Oh, he sees Nam on the nade point. It's an animation that lets Olaf down, and Alex back to the van. Scott free with the deep smoke. Phase will not go through, and that's so unfortunate for Olaf. He would not have been full cleared there unless he pulled the nade. Oh, if that headshot hit, I would have a screamer. But luckily enough, Rain lives to tell the tale. Phase group up in middle with all four members. Short smoke, kind of try and get up connector. And there's the headshot from the orb this time around from Chiquinho. He hits those, looking for more. Got to care that ramp play. He's got Palace to control those. No cross allowed. Roland denies the first. Now he's just playing with his food. Chiquinho flicks. And he it should know they're getting closer. They're jumping across on the bench. He's ready for it. Bomb dropped. And a second player into the sandwich. Or oh, Chiquinho. Ooh. He takes a bite out of it. It's yeah, so like I was saying, Chiquinho is the next best thing, right? Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Mad. Fnatic 7-4. 
And as as we were kind of drawing some parallels to this in the Na'Vi game, you know, it, it has some similarities. They're off to the races here. And FaZe, now the question gets flipped onto them. I think no longer are we looking at Fnatic and saying, oh, you know, it's FaZe's map pick. Oh, they had that slow start, blah, blah, blah. I think Fnatic are, are raring to go. They're looking yeah. for a 2-0, the real test of character. Now, as you look at Carrigan, you look at this experienced team of players and you say, look, you guys need solutions or else this is done. And with Giacchino only getting more and more confident, it's setting a worrying precedent, right? He's so oppressive on this map. This is not a Giacchino we've really seen yet. And so once again, he gets the opener. He goes two for one. He started his team off brilliantly. FaZe are now left to try and pick up the pieces of a round that's crumbling apart. And all that's happening oh. is it's getting worse and worse. Brolin with this org, he makes it look so damn good. All right, stop buying orcs, folks. Stop buying the M4. Stop dropping them over. Have the AK. I'm playing scopes now. I mean, we've been through so many iterations of org meta, of teams picking them up, putting them down, picking them back up over time. And I, I you know, with the org never changing in any of this, right? Just preference and, uh, and just moment. I, I think we need to see a lot yeah. more of it. Like teams like Fnatic are making this gun look deadly. I mean, also like the team they're up against prolifically, guys like Carrigan yeah. were always he, keen he to was the OG the org yeah, player. Yeah. Absolutely. And, uh, mate, no, it, it really is. It, it's lovely to see. It gives you a lot of like mid-range yeah. options a close range, it can one-tap, mate, exactly. like an AK. So yeah. no more of that annoying, ah, I dinked him, and if only I had the same gun. Well, we did see the old 99 and one Yeah, you know, that but, yeah, does but, happen. But, but, but not always. I mean, if it was M4, it would be even less. So, uh, yeah, that's a good point. I think the one thing that gets in the way of the org, which is always going to mean the M4 is supreme, not just the money, but the fact that, you know, you've spent thousands of hours, 10,000 hours, cracking the AK and the M4 spray. These are the guns that you really know well. And so the org one is new, it's different. It's arguably easier, but it's something else. And so you've got to you know, pick that up and put in a lot of time to get it perfect. But we've seen people like Alex just mowing kids down. And when you scope in, it's really not difficult to control that easy either. Not in comparison to some of the other weapons. Deke's out though. However, Giacchino here to stop him. Doesn't want this round getting out of hand. Go up and goodbye, Carrigan. He's just looking quick, man. He doesn't need a second to react. Broke, he's got an org and he favors the Deeg. 1v3, yeah. easy. Oh, easy. <laughs> Lemon, squeezy and mezzy. Bloody hell. Get squashed into a juice. Yeah. We drinking mezzy juice tonight. Weird plot. Weird plot indeed. What's the idea behind this for Brokey? He's hiding out a bench. Both players moving through the market together. Fnatic, the one thing we've been crediting for is, uh, you know, how safe they play rounds like this, how they always look for trade potential. And they're really not about giving you a one-on-one. -on -one. Now, this oh, is exactly what Brokey wanted. It's a 1v1, but Brolin trades it out. And so it's kept belonging to Fnatic after all. Brolin holds his nerve in the clutch. Him and Giacchino giving us a phenomenal game right now. I feel like you could have just saved the AK there over the orb, right? Like, money is basically maxed out at this point with two rounds left. I mean, that's a small detail, but something to remember when you're near the end of the half and when you're picking out what to save. Look at your money quickly when you see four guys on 10k. They ain't AK players, they're orc players. That's true. Bro. I mean, I made that joke earlier, but I didn't actually think it was, you know, going to happen. Brolin, he no, was I, I didn't actually the round with the AK. cut you off. Like, yeah, no, it's fine. It he is did, a though, legitimate he, point. He did it again, so it's, it's okay. You, know, you, you try, and you try again, Harry. Now over to you with the news and the weather. How's the traffic? The news, the weather, and the traffic. I do it all. <laughs> well, right now, the star signs have a line, Hugo. Yep. And it's affecting the uh, news weather traffic station. Giacchino. Oh. 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 He lives, though. Out into the A side go the rest of phase. Brolin smoked off in CT. The alarm bells are going off Whoa. for Fnatic, or at least they were. That kill from Brolin tips the scales once again. Try it again. Oh, oh my god, Brolin, leave him alone! How's he managed that? Rains on a big Whoa. flank down through lower tunnels. So right now, Brokey is completely alone in this site, and the bomb is not even planted for Rain's flank. They can just stick it. They've won the round. It literally doesn't matter. Rain can kill physically every person he runs into, and it was unwinnable because of where the bomb is planted. Rain wasn't destined to win that as far as FaZe were concerned. He was just meant to throw a bit of a spanner in the works yeah. in the rotations. Yeah, you weren't expecting to get, you know, turn 
needed to mince me in that round in the site, right? Like, not only Twist walking up on CT, that's why we see Brolin keep the York, like, just deletes the first player. Carrigan comes in the flick. And then, you know, once Brolin's there, he's just feeling it. He's chasing down Brokey on the bomb site with the York. Bye bye. And Brolin, 19 and 5. We've been hyping up, singing praise to Jaquino, and for good reason, but man, Brolin is just feeling it as well. 10 to 4. Have we got an 11? Jaquino, another strong start, and Crims, a bit of finish, taking two out of middle, forces the rush into another orb. Well, this is looking pretty beat, isn't it, FaZe? Olaf and Twist, the two to try and tick a fifth round over in a two on five. Oh, I'm getting nervous even about these wallbang attempts, mate. Olaf low on HP, one kill to his name. He's fallen all the way back. Twist is playing around in the smoke. And Alex wants to bring the fight to him. Fnatic are looking for a very dominant CT side and they're looking for a 2-0. Oh, the pop flash. Not even needed, because oh, Alex moves him down. Yes, let's take stock of this, right? We've only got the one smoke on Jaquino. Flash as well to try and get his teammates in. The smoke looking like it's compound to try and block off some of these points of rotation. Maybe give Alex a bit of an easier time of things. And moving on up through middle, especially as his teammates pour out through ramp. Now it's rain to open. Twist's going to tap a head off of Crims as well. And this is a nice-looking pistol round for FaZe Clan. Just Mezzi and Alex left. Britain's got to do it to him. Oh, dear. And maybe in the next round instead, Mezzi's gone. And that's a nice, clean pistol for FaZe. With rain at the opener as well. Worth noting, coming into the second half, uh, FaZe only had one. Two out of the 15 available opening duels. Both of those kills coming from rain. So now all three in this map. And that was something they struggled with as well, back on the T side of Overpass. Well, FaZe, they had to win it. And now this series could heat up yet again. Fnatic are not going to get ahead of themselves, though. No bomb plant, no buy. Take a Glocky. Die quick. Go next. And I'm going to refer everyone to Hugo's tattoo that he has right above his bum crack. And that is Zonic's tweet. The 11-4 yeah. scoreline is the most dangerous lead in Counter Strike. Zonic That's actually, Zonic's he tattooed it personally as well. It's really botched. Like he's not a he's not a tattoo, he's not a tattoo guy. No, but, but you know, I needed the seal of approval. I needed the real deal. You don't want to be lying to people like that. No, a, that's like an NFT, basically. Yeah, it's actually illegible. But you know, there's uh, yeah, there's ink in my skin. And there's wind in Fnatic sails. Ice in the veins of yes. FaZe, though, right? While we're talking elements, we may as well bring them all into play. Look at this, a dirty the, round this from is, Fnatic. Uh, it's incredible. Like, uh, they're doing track and field right now, passing the baton back and forth. 100-meter uh, sprint into a relay, into a cross-country, into middle. It's a lot of running-based events. I feel like you could have diversified the old portfolio a little bit, maybe some shot put in there, but not meant to be. The only shots getting put through are from the phase side. They nice. find all the kills and they go flawless up against the Glocks. But that's because they were up against Glocks, right? Now the AKs come yeah. through. Now the big guns come out. And it would be a pretty long jump, a far reach to maybe argue that FaZe could pull this one back, Harry. But let's see. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt. We've certainly got the clout. It's up to six. And, you know, the score's actually not that irredeemable for FaZe, but Fnatic, no sleepers at this wheel. Buyers in full AKs up against the Famai. And it's a quick A pop. Yeah, Lamp Splash going over. Rain should be dead, and he is. Jaquino and Mezzi both getting openers. And in reality, this should be the round. Like, two kills come in, that should be the extent of it. Now, I think FaZe is still keen to hover about, you know, like a like a fly, see what they can get away with, because they're buying up next round anyway. This was their bonus attempt. That kill from the SMG is certainly going to entice you to give this a look in. Yeah, if anything, you want to die to yeah, get that, yeah, guns exactly, in the next right? but It's fine, you know, if you delay it, the, the, the danger of that, of delaying your real weapons, is the fact that this score is getting out of control. Luckily enough, the kills are coming in. It's just a shame no one else from FaZe is in position. Good flash from top mid, but with it, Carrigan can't call the retake. His team are out of that one. So that's fine. FaZe, they're going to buy up around it. They're going to get probably an AWP into this next round.
but Fnatic, that's exactly what they wanted. <laughs> Unlucky. Carrigan with a yoink. Gets an AK as well. So, yeah, it's actually a good round for FaZe, but Fnatic four away from closing this map and series today. Yeah, lovely openers as well out of... Uh... Messi and Jaquinho, right? I always love that lamp flash going over. It feels so strong whenever you have a sight player like Rain there. That was just a super deep one for Palace. So that was that was flying over the roof. So you know, it's uh, lamps more for like close round triple CT, but that one's just gonna destroy you if you're hiding at the back of the bomb site. Twist swinging. Oh my god, he wants to get involved. He's already taken one with him. Oh, the nade pick up. They might have heard it and they all peek him together. Alex with a frag. Smoke down deep as well. This means you're not going to get spammed out as easily to stop that bomb plant, right? You can actually take the jungle. You have room to move. And as these fade, you can push through into connector. Bro, Molotov these, uh... stalls you out and phase. Oh, it's not pretty. These A takes are brutal, and you know, you, you didn't give that last round to go. You, you once more want to give this one a bit of a look see, see if they give you a way back in. And with Carrigan falling, that might have to seal the deal here for FaZe. They're out of there. Fnatic are up onto 13. Thus far, all they've dealt FaZe are these fast plays into the A bomb site with pretty bare bones utility as well, almost kind of inviting the fights from FaZe Clan. They really want to take this off away. The only way you're going to reliably Whoa. have the orb as if it's saved oh. here and Brokey will not escape the clutches of crims that's also a free awp for Fnatic to use now cheers and look man if you had managed to save that on Brokey, he could have dropped an m4 olaf could have dropped an m4 you would have had like an all right little mishmash buy they do commit to the investment yeah. but boy is it lacking now I mean, olaf dropped an orb but Brokey didn't drop him anything back i don't think olaf's now okay no, he he had got to save the AK. Oh, of course yeah I, I couldn't see it on the ground Phew. Well, you do have that AWP at least now for FaZe. Still in play. Brokey's going to give up window as the fast middle move comes in for Fnatic. Four leg shot, twist low, finished off by Brolin. And now the world is yours to do with as you please. You could split either bomb site. You have a player lurking either which way. No more kills going to get given up in middle, right? Brokey's watching window from market, rotating CT, leaving two at B. And that's exactly where Fnatic are grouping for right now. Carrigan, is that deep B smoke? He's got the lineups. Very nice. Will they do anything with it, or is it just to scare Fnatic away from taking apartments, going to clear their corners? You're definitely yeah. going to be scared here. Because they haven't been peaking this oh, early. They just don't believe it. They don't care. Well, you know, Alex, we know he doesn't respect smokes. Yeah, That's true. like his whole mantra is like, I'll just walk through it and they probably aren't holding it. And so the rest of the team buy into that and they reap the reward of it. Carrigan alone on the short side. They know that he's leaning this way. They're trying to locate him and our oh. Crims will deliver that swiftly over. Fnatic are on to 14. This is very, very convincing. And yeah, it's a little bit of a shame there for FaZe. You know, they, they didn't have anyone playing plat early. So when you throw that deep smoke in, it really is just like a, a hope that they respect it on yeah. the side of uh, Fnatic. Even so, I'm just, I, I admire the fact that they push through that. It's very, maybe even the molly gives it away, right? Like, oh, they're throwing all this util from the bomb site. You know, they're, they're even mollying it as well. I don't know. Don't know what the read is there for Fnatic, but it's a perfect one. Or maybe it's just the call. As Alex is on cat, guys, I'm on cat. Just go. It will be fine. Worst case, you trade it, and, and I get up short, and we just wreck this B play. And FaZe had just moved Brokey out of position. Think about Brokey in the CT half. He's had many orbs. He's just never been in the limelight. He's never had a gunfight in the right position. Always locked out or dead first or, you know, retaking. Brokey's not even been able to get back into this game, and it's not even his fault. So this is one where he has to throw himself in heads first. Both of them. Yeah. <laughs> Two-headed beast of Brokey. And they're going to try and do the fast boost into the apartments. There's the swing, but Jaquino, all it does is tee up the opener on a silver platter. Now, Carrigan will get one, but he should be traded. I don't know how he's managed to get out of there, but he has. Still, the only defender is armed with a P250, and he's pretty casually brushed aside. Oh. Messi activates this late lurk, and this is done, mate. We can stick a fork in this one phase.
They cannot seem to set a foot right. This is a fired up Fnatic. This is a FaZe Clan that, that looked real hot to open up the day. And I think, you know, it's that idea of the bigger they are, the harder they fall, right? Sure. You came into this looking so good. It looked like you were going to blow Fnatic out the water. Then you have that comeback happen. And it feels like it's just wrecked the mental game of FaZe right now. Uh, you know, uh, that's like yeah. a real pseudo psychological look in, like, but. Hell, like, there's no staying power. There's nothing. Yeah, everything that could go wrong has gone wrong, right? Even with the right read there, Brokey's in position to take the 1v1v Giacchino. And, and man, this guy is just not missing a beat right now. That being Giacchino, just form on that CT side in the first map. And now keeping it up here on Mirage as well. It's him and Brolin leading the pack at 22 and 21, respectively. So, an excellent game out of Fnatic, and now all they got to do is tie a bow on it. Brokey finally finds the first, getting Jaquino up catwalk. But will that really put a stop to Fnatic? Olaf with a good timing, good reaction to drop Alex out of the round. And so finally, FaZe have got something to hold on to here. Been a long time coming. Fnatic are just going to group up and attempt an A play with the three players they've got left. Two smokes to make this happen, right? You could look to go for the jungle stairs, lock off those, uh, you know, that side and only have to worry about this CT AWP of Brokey. With how Giacchino's looked in uh, in head-to-heads, -heads, I wonder where Brokey's confidence is at because he's been getting beat and, as you say, avoided a lot of the time. Still, you like to think he's got a better chance of beating Crims with the AWP. Let's see. Well, Crims surprise us. There's no smokes, not really anything going in outside of this flashbang. The oh, Molly is going to force this fight out of the sandwich player, and Crims collects that free kill onto Rain. They he's know about Brokey's AWP. They don't know about Twists. That's the unknown entity. But you can expect, you can imagine, right, that these rotations are coming in. There's Twists with one, and now they learn about this man in jungle. Messi's going to trade that out. Jiggling out into the open, not ever giving Brokey this fight that he's hoping for. Fnatic, 10 seconds. This bomb's got to go down. And Messi falls means Crims is a dead man. And FaZe, they will manage to find seven. But how many more do they get? Yeah, unfortunately, that Messi gets caught there on balcony. He was trying to provide cover to Crims on that one position that was, you know, plantable, triple with only Brokey and CT spawn. But as soon as the cover's dead, Crims knows he can't stick. And it's the orb to find the close. Brokey opener and closer in that round. 15 to 7, phase. Okay, they get one, but we're not setting it up like it's a comeback story. Not yet, at least. Phase have looked harrowed, shattered by that comeback in the first map. No orb fight in middle. Giacchino darts out. Brokey is here holding the same flash in. And Roland almost gets a double off the transfer, but he. Brokey's a little bit late to the peak, and he at least keeps things even. Olaf, oh, it looked like he wanted to stay in front of it. Instead, back out through the Molotov and doesn't take much damage either. Alex is going to reset, join his team on this A site. He's not got any utility. He might even you know, tell him to wait so he can go out first. Meanwhile, Rain under balcony. Brokey close by to rotate once he's cleared middle, and he's about to. Yeah, he's going to completely switch it up, go all the way back to CT, but this could leave him out of position as they're actually taking the site, meaning that Rain has got to do it all up here on the oh, scaffolding. That's flash. a team flash, and oh no! Why have you done that? <laughs> Rain, full white, oh, and now Brokey dead. Out. That is it. Yeah. Over and done with here for sure. Olaf and Carrigan, the two players left standing, and it feels like it's just a formality. As far as it could have gone wrong, that was just terrific. Rain was waiting so patiently. Yeah. So patient. Tries to play it perfectly. Full white from CT. Oh. And now just Olaf. As we 